A phone company charges for a service according to the formula C of n equals 19 plus 0.03 n, where n is the number of minutes talked and C of n is the monthly charge in dollars. We have to determine the rate of change and the units, as well as the initial value and the units. In general, when we have a linear equation in sloped intercept form, with the form y equals mx plus b, m, the coefficient of x, is equal to the slope, which represents the constant rate of change, and b, the constant term, is equal to the vertical intercept, which represents the initial or starting value. In our case, though, because we have c as a function of n, the slope m is going to be equal to the coefficient of n, which in this case is equal to 0.03, and b, the vertical intercept, is equal to the constant term, 19. So by analyzing the form of the equation, we know m equals 0.03, and we know b equals 19. So to better understand why the slope is equal to the constant rate of change, we do want to include the units on the slope, where in general the slope is equal to the change in the outputs divided by the change in the inputs. But in this case, notice how the outputs are C of n, which represents the monthly charge in dollars, and the inputs are n, which are equal to the number of minutes talked. So we can say the slope is equal to the change in the monthly charge in dollars divided by the change in the number of minutes talked. So to interpret our slope, let's write the slope as a fraction with the denominator of one. So in our case, we have m equals 0 0.03 divided by one, where again, the numerator would be the change in the monthly charge in dollars. So this is 0 0.03 dollars, and the denominator represents the change in the number of minutes, so this would be one minute. Which tells us for every additional minute talked, the monthly charge is going to increase by 0.03 dollars, or three cents. This is often rewritten as just 0.03 dollars per minute. So for this first statement, the rate of change in this equation is 0.03, and we're supposed to select the units from this drop-down menu, which would be dollars per minute. Next, we're asked to determine the initial value, which again is the vertical intercept. So because we know b equals 19, as an ordered pair, this would be the ordered pair 0 comma 19. Notice how when n is 0, the output of our function would be 19. And this is why this is called the initial or starting value. Even if someone talks 0 minutes, the cost is still going to be $19 for that month. So we can also refer to this $19 as the fixed cost per month. So to complete the statement, the initial value of this equation is 19, and because this is a function value, the units would be dollars. I hope you found this helpful.